Hey guys, it's another grocery shopping time out for Jay Morrell. So of course that means it's raining, raining yet again. We're thankful for the rain though. I know so many other places need it, but we're just getting a ton of it. So everything is super green here. What I'm doing today is I'm taking Gabriel and Liam for their turn to run to the grocery store with mommy. And be sure to stay tuned to the end because I'll have our meal plan for the week. And you can always check over on the encouraginghomeschoolmom.com to get our full family meal plan for the week. So we're just gonna hop out to the store and see what we can find today. Okay, so I guess if you need rain in your area, if I come to your town and grocery shop, you'll be sure to get some rain. <laughs> so another thing I wanted to update you guys on is we have lost, get ready for this, we have lost five hens in about the past week. It's so sad, so I'm gonna have to get eggs today. What has happened is, of course, we've moved to our new house. We have the hens settled in their coop in their yard. And we've just, we've had a couple nights where I have forgot to either lock the hens up myself or I forgot to have a, a kid go out and lock them up. And I know Wednesday night, we I took the older children roller skating and we were at the roller skating ring. I thought, oh man, we forgot to lock the hens up. And of course we lost two that night. So we'll have, weeks and even months where we won't lose a chicken at all and then if we just get in a season where if we forget to put them up a few times we'll lose a couple so since we had nine we've now lost five that means we're down to four that's our homeschool math lesson I definitely need to order some more chicks but that just puts a big you know I was getting eight to nine eggs a day and so now of course I'm going to be down to getting three or four a day so I definitely will be buying more eggs for a while and we'll just try to get our flock built back up you keep Count and say nine. Nine. Uh -huh. Mommy. Ten. Uh -huh. Oh. And then we got eleven. eleven. Uh huh. Twelve. Good. Thirteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. And then Two. this. And then what's after 14? 16. 15, say 15. 15. Put it down in your stack. 15. 15. 15 16. 17. 18. 18. Good job. Don't so you count it. That's a bunch. That's a bunch. 18. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. We were counting up our cash and I'm going over my list before we go in. And on our way out the door, Travis handed me a stack of ones. So I thought Liam could count those. That would be some good grocery shopping money skills, right? And now I'm gonna work on getting my list updated on my phone. So it's pretty interesting is they have some wheat bread here marked down to 75 cents and they actually, I saw they have white bread if you eat white bread, this particular location, let's see here. They have it marked down to 45 cents a loaf. See? And then they have different whole wheat hot dog buns and other things marked down to 75 cents a loaf too. This um, whole grain white bread is marked down to 50 cents. So eggs this week are only 59 cents a dozen, so hot dog, I can get 10 of those. Over there, the ear cleaners. Over get here? those, yes. Two of them? Just, uh, yeah, get two packs. We need them. Put them in our cart. They have those? deck brackets and they have hanging basket holders. You get two in a pack, marked down to 99 cents, so I got four of those. So we made it out for about $118. Our grocery budget's a lot smaller this week because we have some traveling coming up, but we got a lot of great deals. Are you gonna make some good music for us, Daniel? You making music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Mushing your bananas. Mushing your bananas. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. So we are back from grocery shopping and Daniel is here, of course, mushing down some bananas again. And I'm gonna give you guys a peek at everything we bought. I just. 
I have to change out my camera battery real quick. Okay, all changed out here, and I'm gonna go over everything that I got. Now, coming up later this week, we have some family coming in from out of state. We have Gabriel's birthday party. We're going on a day trip for that. We just have lots of exciting things going on. So I took a little less cash to the grocery store today because I figured we'll have some eating out and other expenses later in the week, but I still have a full week's meal plan, and it came to $118 that I spent today based on what I needed. Again, I have some things in the pantry, I have some things in hand, but really, everything that I got for our meal plan for this week, I got a lot of it today at Aldi, so I'll go through that. I'm also gonna link you to the recipes I'm gonna use. Big first thing is eggs, yes, 59 cents a dozen, woo woo, and I got 10 dozen eggs. So here's the big egg stack. On the meal plan this week, one of the things I'm gonna do for lunches for a few days is a big thing of egg salad. Besides that, we're gonna go through these eggs between having eggs for breakfast and then for recipes. I'm, I'm sure, woo, wow, Daniel. I'd be shocked if I have a lot of eggs left by next weekend. I only got four gallons of milk. I have two gallons in the fridge. I kind of think, you know, a gallon a day is what we go through. Oh, this is just my normal 15 pounds or so of bananas. I do take them out of these bags when I store them on my counter. And bananas today were 49, uh, 44 cents a dozen. Now, they had peaches for 39 cents each, so I got about 15 or 16 peaches. We got some more mushrooms. We got banana, uh, ba I almost said bananas again, banana on the brain. We got baby carrots, pineapple. Pineapple was marked down to $1.29 per pineapple, so we got two pineapples. Liam liked to feel them through the store. I got two cantaloupes. The cantaloupes were $1.79 a cantaloupe. I got two bags of apples. I believe these were $2.99, maybe $3.99 a bag. These are, let's see how many pound bags. Do, 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 three pound bags. So again, look over at the encouraginghomeschoolmom.com for my receipt breakdown. I do a lot of this for memory. Um, one of the things on our meal plan this week is chicken broccoli Alfredo. These bags of steamed broccoli were $1.19 a bag. I got three bags. I got the whole grain thin spaghetti for when we do our chicken alfredo i got another thing of oatmeal i would have liked to have got the old-fashioned oats they just had some boxes blocking the oatmeal today so i just got the quick oats i got a thing of whole wheat flour because with all the bananas i'm hoping to do several loaves of banana bread for to mix in for some lunches or quick breakfast i got two bottles of italian dressing and I'll link you here a card above. I have a recipe on here for Italian chicken in the slow cooker. I'm basically doing the same recipe with Italian dressing, only I'm using a pork loin instead of chicken. This is, let's see, this is two and a half pounds of chicken for our chicken Alfredo this week, and then a 4.94 pack of ground beef because we're gonna do some meatloaf in the slow cooker too. And then over here, now for the bread, as I shared in the video, they had bread for, this bread was 75 cents a loaf, and this bread down here was 99 cents a loaf. Lots of bread was marked down this week, and there's no difference in the dates. This bread is good for May 29th, and then the bread that was about a quarter more is good for till May 28th. So I don't know why they had it marked down, but it was marked down and I got what they had, so that was great. Then, um, actually some household things that I included in this week's grocery budget. The only thing we really needed were ear cleaners. And then, this is, uh, you know, Jamerell always picks up something for herself. These um, plant brackets, you get two in a pack. I had gotten a pack of these the other week for $2.99. I was thrilled with that price. Well, they had them marked down to 99 cents. So I got two packs of plant brackets. And since deck brackets were 99 cents too, so I got two brackets deck brackets because I figured we'd put those on the deck and four dollars and there you go so quick overview of my hundred and eighteen dollar grocery shopping haul again oh one more thing um of course I got the cream cheese this is gonna go in my chicken alfredo in the slow cooker one thing of orange juice now I'll put up a picture here uh, from Instagram and Travis was doing some running around and errands various guy car stuff yesterday 
He sent me a message and wanted to know if I needed anything quick from the grocery store. And I said, well, hey, why don't you pick up some orange juice for our breakfast in the morning? That's always fun on the weekends. He ended up getting orange juice. Look at this picture. The orange juice had caffeine in it. Who knew? I was looking at it this morning before I served it. I was like, why is this called o OJ Plus Energy? What's in this? And it has almost as much caffeine as a cup of coffee. Can you believe that? It was stuck right in at, with the regular orange juice, not at an Aldi. So at Aldi though, I got orange juice for the kids because they were sad that they couldn't drink it this morning. So I guess with their dinner tonight, they're gonna also get a little bonus glass of orange juice. Let me look around here and think if there's anything else I need to tell you. Okay, so for our meal plan this week, I'm gonna do chicken broccoli Alfredo in the slow cooker. I'm gonna do an Italian pork roast in the slow cooker, and I'm also gonna do a big meatloaf in the slow cooker. Now that's gonna be three big meals. I know we're gonna have, those are the big meals I'm planning for this week because I know some of those are gonna carry leftovers, so we'll also have a leftover night. We'll also, like we normally do, have a breakfast for dinner night. And then with family coming in from out of state and a big birthday later on this week, I know that whole day is gonna be an eaten out busy day. So that's my quick plan for this week. Again, not a lot of toiletry or household items. We're getting ready to start a new month and I'm going to go stock up on all those items again here in about another week or so. And I really am saving money at Aldi. I'm having a great time doing it. If you see my large family grocery budget with my breakdown, and that'll be linked in the article below. I usually spend about $800 in food at the beginning of the month and then $200 later in the month on fill-ins and plus about another 200 on toiletries. And with shopping at Aldi, even though I'm going weekly, I think I'm gonna be able to shave about three or maybe even $400 off my overall grocery budget. I could be wrong but I'm thinking that I can end up spending about eight to $900 a month, including our toiletries. No idea because Aldi is new to me. And even with my higher end grocery budget, it still breaks down food wise to be about $27 per family member per week for fairly healthy, very filling, you know, 84 meals a month plus 60 some snacks. So we're doing well anyway on our grocery budget, I feel like, because we have lots of family members and everybody eats. I think I'm gonna see this additional savings roll, continue to roll in through Aldi. I'm gonna continue to go every week for now, but I'm just gonna share with you the totals more and how things are working out to see if I really can save another couple hundred a month off my groceries, and if I can do it, anyone can do it. So check for my full meal plan with recipe links and other meal ideas in the description below and at theencouraginghomeschoolmom.com. Go ahead also and subscribe to the Encouraging Homeschool Mom, woo! Dot com newsletter because I have, Daniel, for real, for sure. I have a new, um, trying to think my baby's hollering at me. I know, I'm gonna put the camera down. I'm gonna do it. I have brand new month, I have, I have a brand new meal planning freebie that's gonna come out as a subscriber freebie. Hopefully here in the next week, I'm having someone help me get it all buttoned up now so that's something subscribers are gonna get. And also, if the crazy social media world goes wonky, if Facebook fails us or Instagram or any of that, if you are on my email list, you'll be able to keep up with what's going on and I'll be able to stay in touch with you. So until next time, I'll see you next time with another brand new video. Bye-bye.